Okay. Okay. That, in my opinion, was one of the best directs we've ever had. For me, easily a 9 out of 10. I don't think you can give it less than a 7 out of 10. I mean, it all, it's all preferences and what you want to see from a direct. But if you're giving it less than a 7 out of 10, then you went in expecting to see, like, one very specific thing. Like, F-Zero didn't get it. And then you're like, eh, it was like a 5 out of 10. No. That was, as far as directs go, one of the best directs I've ever seen. I literally just finished streaming reacting to it. It ended five minutes ago. In fact, there are still people in my live chat saying bye, with 5,000 people still in my live chat saying bye. If you were live, one of the 15,000 people we had watching with me, thank you so much. I don't even know where to begin. I've never filmed a reaction so soon after the actual thing has happened, but I wanted my pure excitement to shine through because usually when I do these I have to wake up at like 7 a.m. in the morning and I'm tired and I'm grumpy I end up not liking the direct because I'm so tired but I'm up I'm awake I've had my day I've had my coffee I've went to the gym I was ready to sit here this evening and react to this and I did and I loved all of it. All right, so we're going to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go. Started with Monster Hunter Rise DLC. This sick looking uh, dragon is a new dragon. There's a new story. There's new levels. I loved Monster Hunter Rise, and I was very disappointed when I wrapped everything up and finished it. It's one of the few games I'm actually excited to buy the DLC for. Usually, I don't get too into that, but I would love to dive back into the game. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, it's called. They even said it's a massive expansion. Huge! Uh, coming summer 2022, so very far away. I mean, we just left summer 2021. I'm not gonna go through everything. I mean, we had more of a look at the new Mario Party game, which great, I love Mario Party. <laughs> then they showed DLC, uh, for there was a lot of DLC in this, to be honest, but it all looked good. DLC for Zelda Age of Calamity. Trailer, in my opinion, kinda sucked. I mean, it, it seems like we're getting more story DLC, which is great, but I have no idea what's happening in the story. There's nothing to really go on. The only solid information that we got, other than clearly something new is coming, is the new playable characters. There are the researcher people, who I always forget their names. But I was wondering while playing the game, these these should be characters. They seem like they would be great for the game. And they, yeah, it looks like they are. They have all these crazy science science -y inventions and get to use as a weapon. At the start of this, we made a bingo sheet live on stream and we, we, we always put Mario Kart 9 in there, shooting for the stars, never get it. it we kind of got it. Chocobo Racing? It's essentially a new Mario Kart. Um, I mean, it looks exactly like Mario. What do you want me to say? But it has Vivi, and that's my favorite Final Fantasy character, so you sold me there. Everyone knew for sure we were going to see a new Smash character in this Direct. However, I know. We got an announcement that on the 5th of October, we will see the last one. Sakurai's going to sit us down and show us how they play and everything. They're going to announce it and demonstrate it at the same time. Very exciting. As they said in the Direct, this game came out three years ago they've put a ton of work into it since then and this is the final character coming honestly i wish they'd keep going i mean sakurai is probably done and burnt out but i'd love to see the roster get to 100 fighters because at this point why not why stop at like 80 or whatever they're at just keep going a new kirby game this got leaked online so i knew about it but when i heard new kirby game i thought maybe like i don't know puzzle game side-scrolling platformer. I did not expect this huge, cute, beautiful, cartoony, open 3D world that you can roam around in as Kirby. I mean, essentially, Mario Odyssey 2 who? Don't need that anymore. Throw it out. We got Kirby now. I mean, I love this for so many reasons. I'm not a huge Kirby fan, but to be fair, this game looks great. Uh, I'm actually really excited at the way it looks and plays. But, I mean, it opens doors to more, right? Like, I'd love to see these kind of games come back past just Mario. Like, can we get a Donkey Kong one next, please? I am excited about the Animal Crossing thing, but I'm also annoyed. Uh, well, I've been dying to get some new content in this game, and believe me, Kim, even more so than I. And Kim keeps talking about the coffee 
guy come into the game. I don't know. I, I never, I didn't play the other Animal Crossing. They showed us going into the museum and walking into a door that had coffee on it. And I was very excited, but then it cut to black and there was nothing else. Like, that's it? You're going to show us a door? That's it? All this time waiting for like a big Animal Crossing update, you're going to show us a doorway. But then they did explain that it's because there's a huge Animal Crossing Direct coming. Like Animal Crossing is getting such a big update that it's getting its own Direct, which, oh my God, finally. Like I felt like for a long time, Animal Crossing has needed new content. And to know that a, an entire Direct is on the way, that's cool. It makes up for just seeing a doorway. They added a ton of DLC again to things like uh, Mario Golf is getting a bunch of new maps, a couple new characters. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic is coming to Switch, not the new remake that's coming to PlayStation. No, just the old game is coming to Switch. Very exciting. The wind is kind of taking out the sails a little bit, I think, by the announcement of the remake because this game is very dated now. That said, still a great game. Then they started hyping up some games we know are coming, like Project Triangle Strategy, and then of course, Metroid Dread. You're buying Metroid Dread, right? Please? Everyone needs to buy this game. They've been hyping it up so much, and I'm really excited. We're only a couple of weeks away. I'm surprised they didn't mention the OLED. They, they just, the OLED just wasn't mentioned at all. Probably already sold out, and they don't care. They're like, oh. Well, we made our money. We'll just talk about Dread. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited for that game. And honestly, we got a, a big look at the levels and the varying environments. And it just looks great. It looks beautiful. Uh, oh, and then do you just want to talk about the coolest thing that happened in the Direct? Okay, oh, we'll do it. Uh, for the Nintendo Online Service. By the way, I didn't even brag about this like I could have and should have. But I told you. I told you a couple videos ago, I said a direct was coming. I don't lie to you guys. I never lie. When have I ever let you down? I told you last year that a new Switch was coming this year. And look, we're two weeks away. And I told you this month we were getting a direct. And look, we're sat here talking about it. Everyone that's like, oh, you just click better to direct. There's no way a direct is on the way. You think I don't know Nintendo? I used to work with Nintendo. <laughs> Once. Anyway, we got a direct. And not only that, we got... The expansion to the Nintendo service, the online, we can now play, well, not right now, but N64. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Finally. <laughs> so cool. They also did a controller for it, and that was obviously the pattern that we saw, and we talked about that. But something I didn't expect, I don't think anyone expected, them, for, <laughs> them to add two new libraries to the console. You also get, if you increase your subscription to this new premium tier, not only N64, but Mega Drive games. And the selection is actually pretty legit. So for 64, we have Mario 64, Mario Kart, Star Fox, Yoshi Story, Zelda, Mario Tennis. But then the Mega Drive library is Castlevania Bloodline, which is a sick game, by the way. Gunstar Heroes, Musha, Streets of Rage 2. Like, these are some top-tier games. This is good stuff. I love Gunstar Heroes, an extremely expensive game. It's hard to find. But then they said, why not stop in there? Majora's Mask is coming to the Switch. I don't think people realize we just got Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on the Switch. No, they're not the 3DS versions that were technically better and look nicer, but we are getting two of the Zeldas we wanted on the console. We can stop asking for these now, and they're almost free. Almost. You kind of got to pay for them, but almost. At least they haven't forgotten about F-Zero. Oh, and Paper Mario. Oh, and Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> My god, this Direct was so good. Then, like, a bunch of collections came to Switch, including Castlevania Collection, which a lot of people were asking for in my chat for the bingo sheet, and I didn't think it was going to happen, and I had egg on my face. Deltarune 2, Chapter 2 is on the way. And then, um, we hit a weird point in the Direct, and I, I don't think I can retrospectively do it any better justice than my actual reaction. Um, so I'm going to play that. But just for context, they are making a Mario movie. It's releasing summer of next year. They didn't show us the movie, but they decided they would tell us who they cast as Mario and the crew. Um, this was my reaction. What? First, what? Of course, whoa, whoa, is Mario, whoa, whoa, what? Who will be played by what? Chris Pratt. 
No! He's Why? So cool. What? Mario huh? will be talking a huh? lot in the movie. What? Please look no! forward to Mario as performed no! by the very talented no! Chris Sun. No! He doesn't have Next, to be in Princess everything! Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Why? Taylor Joy. What? I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. That doesn't Peach. make any sense! Mario's little that brother Luigi will be played by Charlie Day. That's actually sick. I love Charlie I'm excited Day. <laughs> for you to see this timid by Jack. What Sun. is happening? Jack Black is Bowser. Keegan Michael Key what will be is happening? Toad. Is this a troll? Seth Rogen. This isn't real, right? I'm eager for you to see this. This isn't real. Donkey Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Still don't really get it. What is Chris Pratt gonna do an Italian accent? It's gonna be weird for Charles Martinet too, who's voiced Mario all this time, to be in the movie but playing bit roles while Chris Pratt is his character. Charlie Day though, that is pretty sick. I am a big fan of Always Sunny. But Seth Rogen is donkey. Honestly, I was completely zoned out of the Splatoon 3 stuff um, because I was just thinking about the Mario casting. But from what I managed to take in in my peripheries was pretty sick looking. I mean, I'm excited for Splatoon 3. You don't really have to show me too much of that game to get me hyped for it. And then finally, it has happened to me. Bring that a three. Finally. I, it's just nice to see it. It's nice to know that it's officially still happening. I, I, it's been so long. This game was announced in 2017. I'm a massive Bayonetta fan. I love hack and slash games. I, I mean, Astral Chain came and went, and I could tell that's where Platinum Games invested time for a while, and that was great. I love that game, but I was, I, I really thought Bayonetta 3 might be cancelled. It's nice to see it's here. It looks incredible. It's made me want to go back and play the first two games again, 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 again. Something that was interesting is they they showed i believe lappy is the name as like a little fun gimmicky thing here lappy was in astral chain that was like a mascot of astral chain so that means that these two universes are linked the astral chain universe and bayonetta are the same it's like that technically canon now i guess i don't know what that means for bayonetta or any games moving forward but that's really interesting to think and it i mean it makes sense. Just getting Bayonetta is exciting. I, it's a shame it's 2022. I mean, going in to this direct, they said they were focusing on games coming out in winter of this year, and I feel like that was kind of a lie. <laughs> Not like a bold-faced lie. Sure, there were a lot of games and DLC updates and indie things that were coming this year and winter, but for the most part, the big stuff, you know, your Monster Hunter Rises, your Bayonettas, your Splatoons, I mean, whatever else it is that we talked about today, most of it was 2022. But that said, you know, there's more than enough to play and look forward to till the end of the year. I really do feel like this is one of the best directs we've ever had, and maybe it's just because I personally love everything that I saw. I mean, I'm big on Monster Hunter now, apparently, because I loved Rise. I'm a huge Bayonetta fan, and I mean, I was hyped watching with 15,000 people at home and the new OLED in two weeks. Like, it's just a really exciting time, um, but yeah, that's it. That was the direct, and I loved it. If you watched it live again, thank you. If you watched this video, thank you. I hit like and subscribe. I have no input. These reaction videos seem weird to me sometimes because I'm like, what's my point? Other than just to gush about it. I guess just to let you know that as a Nintendo Switch aficionado, yeah, this was great. And you should be excited for it. There's a lot of cool things happening. I'm going to try and get this video out tonight. And I have like two hours to do that. So I'm, I'm just going to shut up and I'm going to get to work. I love you all. I hope you love the director. And I'll see you in a video in a few days.